got great goose in my system and I'm trying to give a fuck Cause I'm a lawyer tonight and hate you when I wake up Girl, do you feel how I'm feeling, baby? Give me some of your love Come give me some of your love Come give me some of your love Cause it's on Turn on the radio, baby I'll turn you on Just make sure you ready, baby Cause I'm down for ready time Tell me when you ready, baby Time it is every time Tell me when you ready, baby Cause you know when it's all so Tryna give a fuck, cause I'm a lawyer tonight And hate you when I wake up Girl, do you feel how I'm feeling, baby? Give me some of your love Come give me some of your love Come give me some of your love Oh yeah, cause Jesus turned his water into wine Put some rum in my head, I'm expelling cut Fuck, fuck them all the niggas, yeah Jesus turned his water into wine Guess who could finally use that camera? Me my camera is fixed and my camera is back. So, hey y'all, welcome to our welcome back to my channel. It's Castellina. And today I'm going to be doing a vlog. So, I know that um, in the previous clips, y'all just seen a bunch of segments from different videos. Those are all videos that are potentially, potentially going to be a vlog. But they didn't end up being long enough. So, I decided I don't want to scrap these videos. I'm going to just put them into my next one. And put a bunch of clips in the beginning of my video. So, that's exactly what I did. I don't know how I'm going to bring my camera with me. I might just record on my phone. Um, but today we're supposed to be going to a water park um and i wanted to vlog it because i mean i haven't made content in a minute and i don't want to just leave y'all out there and i also want to thank y'all i made it to 1000 subscribers i was so happy when i first seen that because it was like a few months ago i didn't even see myself getting to this point because like i just didn't take youtube seriously i was never consistent and now that i actually decided to put in some work into my youtube i finally reached 1000 subscribers so i want to thank y'all so much for that I have to rush because my family is already pretty much ready to go and I'm like the last one to get ready all the time. So I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna like hurry up and do my morning routine, put on my bathing suit, all that stuff. And then maybe even when I get home, I could do a little night routine and just prep for getting back in my bed once I get back. I already have my edges done. It looks a mess because I literally just woke, well not just woke up, but I didn't do nothing with my edges after I woke up. So I might tweak it a little bit, but I'm not gonna do too much to it because I'm going to a water park. These are not gonna be on my forehead for too long. So real quick, we're gonna just get ready and do what we do. Guess she don't have the time to kick anymore. Okay, y'all, so I just did my routine. All I did was brush my teeth and rinse out my eyes and everything. I don't think I'm gonna do like a full face routine because, I mean, I don't wanna like, one thing that I have experienced before, obviously, when you like put your facial products on your face and stuff and then you get in the water and it starts to rinse down and get in your eyes and all that extra stuff. It's, it's, mm -mm. I'm gonna do a full routine and get myself back together once I get back from the pool, so. I don't think I'm gonna do anything on my edges. I'm gonna just put my bathing suit on and then, uh, this is the bathing suit I'm gonna wear today. I have other bathing suits, but these like these are like old. I haven't had like a new bathing suit in a minute. Cause I don't know. I have a few that I want to order, but I haven't gotten them yet. So this is what we're gonna be using for now. And I'm pretty sure if I do order the bathing suits and stuff that I have that I want to order, I'm gonna do a try on haul. Like I'm gonna do like a little haul for the summertime. Cause I also have a video that's coming up for y'all too pretty soon. But I can't tell you. So, I'm gonna put my bathing suit on, put on my shorts and everything, do the basics, and then I'm gonna go downstairs and grab my food. So, I'm gonna put my bathing suit on. Okay, so I have on the bathing suit. This is the top. It's not like, hmm, I have on the top. And I'm gonna put some shorts on to cover up the bottom. And then after that, I'll just pack my purse up. Probably not gonna um, bring like a full purse. I'm probably just gonna bring my tote bag um, again. And then I'm gonna just put all my basic stuff in there. Like, you know, all the basic stuff that I usually will put in the tote bag. So, yeah, everything, my water bottle, everything I'm gonna show you with. So, let's go. It's been so hot in it. And Georgia winters be long too, like, so you don't really get used to the heat. I'm not gonna do too much over here. I'm just gonna do a little bit of stuff. I'm just gonna go on my lips. Uh, this bump is annoying, but it's still there. Whatever. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put on like lotion or anything because I didn't put any sunscreen on myself. But we're gonna write all the other stuff we need. So put it on. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get my. I'm, I'm gonna also like get some stuff up so I can start making my tote bag because I need to. I'm already basically like a little cute late because everybody else is done. So I'm gonna start packing my tote bag and I'm gonna see y'all when I'm downstairs. Like, I think I'm gonna put my hair in plenty, but I'm gonna see y'all when I get downstairs and I'm getting my food and everything that I need. Right now. So I'm gonna see y'all a little later. Somebody had to carry it, and I'm the person who has to carry it. Let me see y'all. So, we're going back to the corner. Every time I vlog, I don't really talk that much in my vlog. I need really to stop doing that. So, we're going to change it up. Today. Let's get them to record, so I'll see y'all later. Yeah, so I'm back at my house. I have on my favorite little robe. I'm not gonna do too much right now because I'm about to hop into the shower. Once I hop into the shower, I'm gonna go eat because I still have leftovers from the group of Jamaican food that I showed y'all earlier. Yeah, my edges are in hot mess. Like, that food. Is Once I'm done here, get something to eat. Probably gonna put something on Netflix. Mm -hmm. We could do a little chit chat. I'm gonna talk to y'all about how my day went because. Oh my god, well that's dramatic, but somewhere near there, that's what it felt like. So, that was in Like, camera angle is a little different than how I usually do it, but I don't really feel like facing it like that for real right now. So, we're gonna work on my appearance right now. Right now, I got ground beef on my forehead, but that's exactly why we're gonna straighten them. I've grown a very unhealthy addiction to straightening my edges, but it's okay because they're not balding, they're still very much there. So, um, the reason why I'm flat ironing my edges right now at 11.03 at night is because it takes up a lot less time doing it in the morning, for one. For two, it's a lot easier to do my edges when they're straightened than curly. So, I'm gonna straighten these. I don't have any moisturizer on my face or nothing. Like, my skin is, like, really dry. Because today, I'm gonna, well, tonight, I'm gonna ice my face. I haven't, like, usually I would just take an ice cube and run it on my face. It's really refreshing. I haven't done that in so long. And I need to because my skin is going through a crisis right now. And I don't, I don't know what's going on. So, I really just fill up a cup with ice cubes and then I just like take one. We're gonna do this quick because I don't really want to take too long doing all this. So all I do is literally take the ice. And then round two. Okay. Um, so I ice my face and I'm gonna just like I'm not gonna take a towel or nothing and just like soak it, like take it all the way basically. I'm gonna just let the water soak in, moisturize my face. That's usually how I do it when I ice my face. I just let my skin take it on the moisture because it really needs it. My skin was extremely dry today, especially in those clips at the water park. Oh, if you're wondering why I barely took any clips at the water park, um, first of all, there isn't really much to record at the water park. I still wanted to make content for y'all, but at the same time, I was in the pool and I didn't want to risk dropping my phone in the pool. On top of that, I can't bring my camera with me, so we just had to make do with what we had, so. I didn't record that much. I would have recorded me going to Walmart. We were going to the store to pick up a few things to take with us to the water park. But um, the Walmart literally, I think there was a fire. Literally everyone in Walmart had to evacuate. So I couldn't record nothing. But it's okay. We're back. And we still got our footage, so we're okay. But I'm letting this 
soak in for a little bit. I'm gonna take my hair down because it's not gonna be in a bun for the whole night. I'm gonna put my bonnet on after I'm done. Well, I think I'm gonna put the bonnet on right now actually because I want my hair to be out the way. I need my hair done really bad. Like, y'all see my roots? Y'all think I should dye my hair ginger or should I dye it back brown, like a different shade of brown? My hair used to be brown, but I dyed it back black because, well, my hair was never black, unfortunately. So I literally just dyed it jet black for no reason and it was temporary dye. So my hair is a mix of black and brown, which is why now I wear a mixture of black and brown weave. But I really want to dye my hair ginger. I'm considering either dyeing my natural hair ginger or just wearing like ginger wigs and stuff like that if it actually do that to my natural hair. Because I don't want like a dark orange type of ginger because my hair is a dark color. I want my hair to be like a really vibrant ginger. But I don't want to bleach my hair because out of all the things I've done in my life to damage my hair, that's just something I'm not going to do. Bleaching my hair, never in life. Only time I bleach my hair is if I get like finger waves or a pixie cut in like my 40s and I really just feel like I'm so done with my hair. That's anyway. I ain't gonna get my bonnet. Once I put my bonnet on, then I'm gonna continue doing my night routine and I'm gonna tell y'all about exactly what happened to me. Like while I was at the water park, since I already explained the whole Walmart situation. So. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna be talking to y'all while I'm putting on my bonnet. But today we went to the water park and let me bro. It was so hot, like it was so hot to the point where it's like, you can literally just feel heat waves coming off of your skin. Like you know how you look into the distance and you see little heat waves in the air on top of cars and on top of the street and stuff? You can feel that on your skin. It was bad, well at least in my opinion. One thing about me, um, I can't stand up for too long. So keep that in mind for the rest of this story time. I cannot stand up for too long, even if I'm in my own house, washing the dishes, something. If I stand up for too long, my body is literally just gonna shut down on me. So basically, we're at the water park and we're in the line waiting to get our bins. So when I tell y'all, the line was extremely long. Like it was just extremely long. So we're waiting in line all the way in the back of the line. And I already have a feeling like, I already have that nauseous feeling that I usually get when I'm standing up for too long. So I was just like, oh no. Here we finna go, bro. Already, and we just got here. So we're sitting in, we're standing in line, and as we're moving forward, I'm starting to get nauseous. That's one of my symptoms. I'm starting to get really nauseous, and my stomach is starting to kill me. Like I'm just not able to really like. You know, I, I pulled it off well. I wasn't really acting like I was in pain for the most part, but my stomach was definitely killing me at the very beginning. So. The farther we got into line, the worse my symptoms got. It went from me being nauseous and dealing with stomach pain to me literally like wobbling because I was starting to get really dizzy. So I was starting to get really dizzy and I felt nauseous and my head was starting to hurt. Like right here on the temples, it wasn't a full headache, it was just right here on my temples. I was starting to get some head pain. So um, while we're moving in the line, I'm starting to get like really dizzy. So I just like, you know, sit down a little bit like not sit on the floor but i start like just bend down a little bit just try and catch my breath something so as i'm trying to catch my breath i'm just like i'm literally my eyes are closing by themselves my head is swaying back and forth on its own i literally feel like i'm going to just pass out on the floor in the middle of the line so my mom is trying to figure out what's wrong with me i'm just telling her like oh like she already knows my symptoms and she already knows that i can't stand up for too too long so she's really asking like what's wrong like basically just trying to figure out what the symptom is at the moment so i'm kind of just checking like in with her like oh like i feel like i'm gonna throw it blah 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 so now every time the line moves forward i have to get up off the floor and move forward then get back down on the floor because i'm telling y'all i'm like i just could not stand up I couldn't so every time like when I was on the floor every time I stood up my eyes immediately like you know how you carry like you hold like a light super close to your eyes imagine that in both of your eyes but it's not just like a little spot it's covering the entire eye but like I couldn't see nothing and I just felt like I was literally from the faint every time I stood up but when I bent down everything was better but every time I stood up back to that so I was just like okay this is not good then it starts to get stomach pain. Ugh. The stomach pain starts to get to the point where I need to go to the bathroom immediately. Like, I need to go to the bathroom because I literally feel like I'm about to throw up in front of this entire line full of people. So I was I was contemplating on whether or not I should leave the line and go ask to see if they could let me into the restroom and then I'll come back. But nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, they're just not gonna let me do it. So I was like, okay, we have another issue. If I throw up, there's trash kids outside, but it's like. 
I need to sit down and there's a locker room on the inside. Like in the inner building, there's a locker room and a bathroom next to each other. I need to go to the locker room or something like that so I could sit down, but I couldn't. So my dad, he's starting to see me wobble around. Like I'm trying my hardest to hold on to the fence. It's just all over the place. I'm literally, like I can't see. So then he's telling me, oh, go over there, go over there, go sit in the shade. I go sit in the shade and a few minutes later, it's our turn to go get our bands. So I get up off the floor, I get dizzy again. I walk over to get my band. And when I tell y'all, as, as this girl is putting the band on my wrist, I literally feel like it's just gonna come out. I literally just feel it, but it didn't, thank God. So she put the band on me and as soon as we went through the gate, I literally dashed to the bathroom like, that's the first place I went to and I sat like I just sat down for like a long while and like I was just trying to like catch my breath and I don't think I told my mom about this I don't think I told her about this part but I passed out in the bathroom like I wasn't even using the bathroom but it's not even embarrassing to me I'm just telling anyway but I'm literally like sitting down and next thing you know I just wake up like still sitting down, but I just wake up with my head on the little toilet paper dispenser. Like I didn't even use the bathroom. I literally still had my shorts on and everything. I just needed to sit down and outside was crowded. There was no benches, no nothing where you could go to sit down. So uh, next thing you know, I wake up on the, like with my head on the toilet dispenser thing, the little toilet paper thing. And my mom, I get like, I had like two missed calls from her. I call her back. She's like, Cassie, where are you? Why did you go inside the building? I was like, I'm in the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, okay, you need to come into the water so you can feel better. Long story short, I left the bathroom, still was feeling like sugar honey iced tea. I was still feeling terrible, but I went over to the Lazy River and I was sitting in the water for a while, just trying to like warm myself up. Cause you know when the water's cold, you gotta splash around yourself a little bit. I was like, I was sitting down, warming myself up. And you know, I felt a little better afterwards cause I got into the water. So once I got into the water and I started getting cooled down, I was starting to feel a lot better than I was before, so everything was okay. But that's my mini story time on how I almost died at the wet park. But it's okay. I was supposed to be ironing my edges while I was telling y'all that. I completely forgot, so I'm gonna do that now. All I do is comb out the hair. Blah, blah, blah. Ground beef on my forehead. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Just comb it out. And it looks like this for right now. And then I literally just take the pieces and I just, y'all are way too scared of heat. Like every time I'm flattening my friends here, they're so scared of heat. Like I'm gonna show y'all how I like to do it. I like to pull my skin out so I can see exactly where, like don't do this y'all, but I like to do this so I can see exactly where it starts so I can touch exactly where it starts. Then I just do the rest and yeah, if I really feel like it, like how I am right now, then I'll just curl my edges. I always curl my edges. I never leave them straight, so I don't know why I'm saying that as if it's a one-time thing. It's not. I always curl them. But yeah. Um, yeah. Something else random I wanted to talk about. I'm really contemplating on getting my first wig. Like, I've never worn a wig before. I've only worn weaves and like I've done quick weaves on myself, stuff like that. I've never worn a wig. And I'm being, if I'm being honest with you, I think now is the time where I want to start. Because every year for the first day of school, I have in braids, something like that. But I want to try something. Okay, but I really want to wear a wig for the first day of school. I just don't know. Like, I'm not a wig expert. So all I know about is density and length. And all the extra stuff, HD lace. I've been watching TikToks on it and all that extra stuff. But I feel like I'm, okay, first of all, I'm going to install the wig myself. I feel like I'm going to do really good at it. I'm going to install my first wig on myself. I'm not going to go to nobody else to do it. So um, I think I'm going to record it when I install it on myself because why not? I feel like it would be funny. Even if I did fail attempting to put that wig on myself, y'all would literally just laugh at me. So it's okay. But I'm almost done with my edges right here. And once I finish this, I'll be in bed. I'm gonna find something to watch. Probably YouTube. I watch K so a lot. I watch a lot of YouTube gamers a lot. So I'm probably just gonna watch YouTube or maybe even Netflix. If y'all wanna see how I do my edges, you can go look on my YouTube TikTok page at Hina 
part two. I literally did not a tutorial, but I just sat there and recorded myself doing my edges because I literally love doing my edges. Like after a fresh morning routine, you just feel all um, brand new, you feel refreshed and everything, and then you know, you do your edges, all that stuff, you just feel so good. Now that I finished like my face routine, I'm not gonna do anything with my edges. Fluffy edges, I guess, for bed, even though I'm gonna wake up and there's gonna be nothing like this in the morning, but that's okay. We're gonna leave my edges just like this while I go to bed. I need to put some lotion on and all the little extra stuff before I go to bed, but that's really all for me. So yeah, why did I literally forget that I'm about to go out to eat my food? I'm hungry, so I'm not going to bed until I eat my food. It's just leftover though. It's leftover from, from what I showed y'all earlier. That's my food was too good. I'm gonna go eat, so y'all gonna come downstairs with me. Mmm. On second thought, let's just wait in here until my AirPods charge. Yeah, they're running a little bit Tell low right now, so. Mm. Y'all yeah, see my 40 page? Like, this is literally the stuff that comes across my page for no reason. Alright y'all, so I'm currently back inside of my room. I'm so full, but I ate my leftovers and now I'm about to come up. Well, I already did. And I'm about to put something on the TV for me to watch. Probably some YouTube videos, not really sure yet. But this is the ending of today's vlog. I really hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below with any suggestions that you have next. And of course, I'll see y'all in my next videos.